G'day, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna to be building a DIY smoker uh, vacuum tester. So basically, a little bit of hose and a mason jar, fill it with mineral oil, and then we'll be able to pump smoke into it and see if my exhaust got any leaks, because I found a couple, but I'm still having trouble with the car, so uh, easy, very simple. Let's do it. So there's a hundred videos on how to do this, but if you haven't seen them, I'll explain them very quickly. Basically, a glass mason jar, we're gonna put two holes in the top, and we're gonna put a hose in either side. One hose we're gonna blow in, catches the smoke, pushes it out. So how do we make the smoke? Soldering iron, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna drill a tip and fix the tip in here. Fill it with uh, baby oil. My wife's gonna wonder why this is on the receipt. But why more baby oil? Why more baby oil, baby? Um, and then we're gonna hot glue gun everything in place so that we can get in. Obviously we put a rag in here as well. Not obviously, but just in case you didn't know. So I'm gonna quickly make this. I'll time lapse just making it so you're not in a rush. And yes, let's keep going. All right, I am going to make a correction to this video very quickly. The hot glue gun doesn't work, unfortunately. The soldering iron just heats it up a little too much and re-melts all the hot glue, which then breaks all the seals. So don't use that. I would probably suggest using epoxy. That's what I'm going to rebuild mine with. Uh, before I ever need to use it again um, and probably use bigger hose as well. They're probably the only two corrections I had, but first time and it's just what I had around the house. I guess let's put it to the test, huh? We're gonna take this one in there. All right. Let's, let's see if we can find a leak. Yeah, see now I've opened the flaps, you can see it coming through. So I definitely know it's getting through. Right. I'm pretty happy to say we have no back leaks. All right, time to check the exhaust. Um, I think the easiest way is probably just gonna be from the back of the car, I guess. Oh. Okay. set this up and then play it back. Well, I think, uh, I don't think I've got any leaks. I couldn't get any smoke to come out of anywhere. So, um, I guess it's good. I mean, it would have been cool to find a leak, you know, to be able to actually plug one up. Look, throwing my hands around everything in the inside this exhaust, positive pressure obviously pushing outwards, um, when, when the car was running and I was managed to, uh, fix just one, I found one uh, pinhole, and then tightened up uh, this end just a little bit more. So hopefully, hopefully that means that there are no exhaust leaks. I was worried about the flange, so. Anyway, that's my, my little leak test kit. Uh, I think it worked pretty well. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions or any feedback, let me know. Cheers, see ya.